and gentlemen, we're back. We're back in a flawless gem of a show. Folks, my next guest tonight has won several awards for his work on the Broadway stage. These days, he can be seen in Almost Perfect on Sundays on CBS. Please welcome Kevin Kilner to the program. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming tonight. Well, oh, thank you for so much for having me. Uh, I don't know how to quite follow the turtle. But, uh, Very you know, hard act to follow. Truth is, uh -huh. I've worked with that turtle. You've worked with that turtle, and he's been trouble before. He's a problem. But, uh, I don't know he, what to do about it. I was trying to negotiate more money, and I, obviously you didn't pay him, so <laughs> no, he was going to screw up. That was there. rebellion we were seeing tonight. Well, that, mm. that, that brings up a good point. You know, sometimes things don't go quite right on a live show, Ooh, yes. you know? So that wasn't an example, what happened before you. But things right. don't go, and you're doing your show in front of a live studio audience, aren't you? Yeah, we, we, we do it in front of a live audience like this. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, we were doing a show that maybe you guys saw. It was a waterbed that I sleep in. And, mm -hmm. uh, alone? Alone? Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. I, uh, Are you turning this into a sex thing? No, I just Ruth? wanted to know if Kevin, no, good-looking guy, no, good-looking no. guy like him, in a waterbed, you have to stay right away with somebody. Always with somebody. <laughs> I go out on Hollywood Boulevard and recruit. And like that. <laughs> good but, for you. Uh, good no, and Nancy Travis, who is my co-star in the show, mm -hmm. uh, Nancy uh, was trying to put a curtain rod uh, over, or fill up a uh, hole in the window. Mm -hmm. Can I talk? No. At any rate, she falls, and, and the curtain rod punctures the waterbed. While we're doing the show, I said, uh, well, geez, it would be really funny that this water goes shooting up. And I said, mm -hmm. it would be really funny if I get the water to shoot up and if it goes right into my crotch you know, area. Can I say that? Is that right? You crotch can area. say it, but oh, okay. didn't you take a shower before? <laughs> Dr. Ruth. Slight problem, but... So you said, so, you suggested water in the crotch. So I suggested routine. water in the crotch, yeah. and I was assured that the water would be heated. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. we do the, the, the spot, and the audience is roaring with laughter, not only is the water not heated mm -hmm. and going right into my crotch, but I then had to uh, endure these things, uh, uh, jokes about shrinkage. Could you tell me about that? Of course. Wait a minute, really? And you I, poor I was guy. actually wondering if you could. This is perfect. Dr. With... Ruth is right here. Right here right. That happens to many men, shrinkage, does it right. not, Dr. But, Ruth? But you know, you have to tell right away to all of your viewers, mm -hmm. both of you. That the shrinkage, hey, not me, no. the shrinkage, Him. the shrinkage the is only for a few moments. Oh, think oh. some sexy thoughts. <laughs> think of a gorgeous experience, <laughs> and the shrinkage is over. And it's over. <laughs> shrinkage Thank you is so over. much for that. I. <laughs> Where is that book, Sex for Dummies? It's over I here. Known we'll get to that. that. I should have known that. I mentioned that 19 times. Yes. All right. Now, uh, you, you were getting actually good reviews. Very good reviews. We're getting on really, this show. really good reviews. Uh, uh, amazing reviews. And uh, Do you read the reviews when, when these come out? I do. I do. I, you know, I, it's, uh, I guess a lot of actors don't read reviews, but mm -hmm. I do read reviews. And, and uh, I, when they're great, I, I think they're the most intelligent people in the world. They must have PhDs like Dr. Ruth. Mm -hmm. and, like Andy, I'm sure you have your PhD. Oh, yeah. Andy's, right. yes. What does that stand for? <laughs> What's your PhD in, Andy? I... <laughs> um, and when they're bad, I, I just, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you have ever had a bad review. Never. Oh, Never. Oh, no. Okay. Although the turtle thing may change that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in my mind, when I, when I have had the occasional bad review, I, I, I kill the reviewer in my mind. And uh, is this a healthy fantasy, Dr. No, no, I really do. I, if, I, if you in my push mind. him aside mm -hmm. and say this reviewer just doesn't understand the subtleties of what you are trying to do, absolutely, that's okay. But if you say that word kill, that worries me. Rather say, <laughs> say dismiss him. Dismiss him. Oh, well, dismiss. how bad does it get in your mind? How, how bad does it get? I, when you know, when... I really don't kill them. I, I torture them. I mean, <laughs> I, no, I really don't. Uh -huh. I mean, I, Good for I, you. For me, it's medieval. I, I, we start with the rack. Mm -hmm. They're stretched out. I'm 
making little incisions in various parts of the skin. Maybe sure. Salt. <laughs> Salt in the wound. This is healthy. If you get it, if you if you yes. take care of these things in your mind, it makes you healthier in your everyday life. Isn't that true, Dr. Ruth? Yeah, but not to that extreme. Oh, oh. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that would bring about shrinkage. <laughs> he gets no more okay. bad reviews there lots but, of pleasant images tonight all right but you know well it's halloween i mean you gotta uh, you know for me it's spikes and what is it bubbling tar do you yeah. use bubbling tar in any of your no 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 but, i mean Hall <laughs> what do you mean but halloween is you know is is uh, traditionally you know i think of pumpkins and witches and right. all that not shrinkage of the male organ that's not to me that's not a no, happy I, no that's not a happy halloween at all <laughs> that's it's not, uh that's not on any of the decorations right, i've seen definitely <laughs> now let's hope it's it a isn't. trick for sure all right well the show almost perfect uh sundays at 8 30. Sunday on CBS. 8.30 8 on CBS. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, thank we you very much. We appreciate having you here. All Kevin, right. Kevin, everybody. We'll take a quick break when we come back. Bob Odenkirk and David Cross, two very funny guys. Stick around.